So welcome back to Trump the Internet. And this is a special, I mean, one of the great things that I love about this. It's almost 4th of July. So this is a special patriotism, love your country episode of Trump the Internet. And as you know, okay, as you know, in the great film Rocky, where our hero Rocky Balboa loses a narrow decision to the African-American champion, Apollo Creed. But Apollo did a great thing. And you'll never hear me say this, but he did a great thing. He offered Rocky an opportunity on the 4th of July to fight for the title. And of course, he eventually beat him and he put, him, put Apollo in his place. But I thought that great gesture of generosity, your president should do the exact same thing. So for this 4th of July weekend, I reached out to one of our strongest MAGA patriots anywhere in the country. I'm very, and we're going to see if he's good, if, and I think he's a talented guy. He's going to compete for the chance to be my next press secretary. So please give a strong MAGA, no mask COVID round of applause for Brent Terhune. It Welcome, is, Brent. Is, let me just say, it is so good to be here in your presence, Mr. Mr. Trump, Mr. President, Mr. Trump, President. It's, it's, you know, I would have appreciated if you threw in a sir in, but you know what? You threw the Mr. President, and I love that. You're one of our great people, one of our great patriots. I, I try to be just such a good patriot for you, and, you know, it goes you and then my religion and then my country and you have come first since day one it's so great to hear that and 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 brent i gotta tell you i'm moved by the fact that you're emotional because i've seen your videos you are such a strong warrior for trump so strong thank you so i want you to compose your feelings i respect that you're feeling these feelings but i want to see that tough strong brent okay we can't let these libs these dems these crazy people see you. I want them to see you as strongly as we all see you. You're right. You're right. I, sh I didn't mean to be a beta male soy boy cuck like that, but <clears throat> I just couldn't help myself in your presence, Mr. President, sir. No, and, that's, and, and we, we, we know what a tough guy you are. Believe me, we know you are one of the toughest we've got. So we'll let it slide this time. I, I respect that it's an emotional moment, and I get emotional too. You know, when, when Ivanka got married, I was very upset. I was very upset. I didn't like that. So I appreciate sometimes things are big enough that you get emotional. But obviously, we're both big fans of each other. You're a talented, yes, strong patriot, and I'm obviously the greatest president we've ever had. And I would say that, yes. As I said to the people, I said, I want an opportunity to give somebody like you who we know very well, but maybe not everybody knows, an opportunity to be maybe the next press secretary because we need somebody tough, not since Sarah Huckabee. I don't think we've had a warrior in that press box for us. And I think you could be that warrior. And what was that? You gave, is that your, that's your beer? Do I raised my emotional beer? support beer, um, most, mostly to you, but to Sarah Huckabee Sanders for just the fantastic work she did for our country and to her father. Great people. Thank you. But I think you could maybe, and I say this with respect to, to Sarah, I think you could be even better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run you through some tests. We've got some strong tests. And the first one is called OAN role play. Okay. OAN role play, which by the way, some of the women on OAN definitely want to role play with me, but that's another story. I was I know, I know that's right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you one question, and I want to hear how you would answer it in front of the fake news. I'm a reporter for OAN, and I say, Mr. Terhune, great press secretary for the great president, Donald Trump, what is the president going to do for the 4th of July weekend? Well, first off, you lamestream media need to lay off my spray tan and chief and show him some respect. And he's going he's gonna to treat this 4th of July the same way he always does. He's going to wake up early, and he's going to start tweeting, and he's going to get uh, blisters on his thumbs, 
And then come lunchtime, him and Milani are going to grill out uh, some Big Macs. He's going to send the Secret Service to get some Big Macs, and they're going to grill in the backyard at the White House, and they're going to have a fantastic lunch. And then Trump will, Mr. T my president, Mr. Trump will probably play Frisbee with my vice president, Mike Pence, the presidential ride or die chick. He'll, he'll, you know, throw the Frisbee and Mike Pence will run and catch it and bring it back to him. And then they'll probably wrap up the evening with uh, some fireworks where he'll, he'll, they'll be sitting in the backyard and, and the lawn chairs and he'll just take his hand and, and try to reach over to Melania's and maybe try to play and she'll bat it away, of course, because that's what they do. They play their games. But uh, overall, Mr. Trump uh, will just respect this holiday and the 4th of July in this great country. And as always, he'll find a, a way to make it about him. That is, I would say, maybe the strongest answer possible to that question. What I want to follow up on, a couple of quick follow-up questions. Will there be any vegan offerings at the grill? <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mr. President. You're a joke, sir. That's good, good answer. Joke. And then follow up to that. The fireworks, are they all legal and approved or are they some of the fun fireworks we see in some of our great MAGA states? You can't say legal and fun in the same sentence because there's no such thing. Okay. These are out of state over the border. That's the only thing we want coming over the border is in fireworks. That's right. We're going to put small holes in the wall where the fireworks can slip through. We love that. We, we love that. So that's a great answer. But now I got to say it's going to get tough. We have, ra they're called rapid fire questions. Are you ready for the sort of the rapid fire portion? Yes, sir. All right, yes, well, sir. here they are. We got the test right here. This is tough. What type of mask do you wear? Well, I, I've pretty much modeled my whole life after, after you, Mr. President. And since you don't wear a mask because you're a tough guy like John Wayne, and my vice president, Mike Pence, don't wear a mask because he's washed in the blood like that elevator from that movie where the kid had the shining. I don't remember what the movie's called, but the kid had the shining. He don't wear a mask either because being washed in the blood, that's like being a made guy in the mafia. So you can forget wearing a mask because it's tyranny. Well, okay, that's a good answer. Uh, here's a little test for you and see how much you pay attention. Which branch of the fake news do i call the failing new york times bingo very failing and now i know you're a great christian you're a very strong like myself a very yes, devout sir. follower of uh you know the people in the bible all the people they did a lot of strong things i love those guys what is your favorite bible verse well like with mass, I've modeled, you know, my Christian faith after you, Mr. President, and you can't tell by my words and actions, but I'm a Christian just like you. So I say all, all Bible verses matter. You know, why, why be like these people and, and say John 3.16 matters? It, it's all, it all matters. Oh, I mean, that is going to – I don't know if – I hope you don't mind this. I think we're going to go on a new faith campaign. We'll send Mike Pence around the country. All Bible verses matter. I love, I, yes, sir. I'm impressed because even I didn't think of that. And that is, Amen. You know, that is a great thing. And then we have a, one more question. This one might be tough. Bang, marry, kill. We're keeping it clean for the, you know, the great Christian children. Bang, marry, yeah, kill. I, my answer is yes. Well, I like that. We got yes, Fox sir. News, Newsmax, and OAN. Bang, marry, kill. Which, what's, what do okay. you think you're doing? If you're familiar with any of my videos, Mr. President, it would be such an honor if you could even just watch one. You know that I, I start out every video by saying I've seen on Fox News because that's my filter. So even for all these channels, uh, Newsmax, I get all my Newsmax news from fox news and i get all my one america news from fox news so i'm gonna have to say bang mary kill fox news all of them it'll be like the setup to a true crime podcast we're gonna bang mary and eventually you're gonna find a body somewhere because it's fox news all the way 
Wow, that's uh, wow, that's great. Okay, you know, although OAN, I maybe they could be like the second wife. We'll see. I think that's where we're headed with OAN. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I am very proud to announce, after your great results on this test, that you have passed with flying colors. You've passed the patriotism test. That's why we even brought you in. But you have proven to be somebody with such toughness, such strength, and such great commitment to our great country and your great president that I am announcing right here that if Kaylee McEnany ever begins telling the truth, you will get a phone call so fast your head will spin. So you are on deck as our next press secretary. Congratulations. And I, if, please, if you have anything you want to share with the people, uh, this is the time to do it because you are, you are so, you use the term washed in the blood. You're, you're now washed in the Coca-Cola, the diet Coca-Cola. That's what we call yes. it. When you become part of the Trump Christian nation, you are washed in the Coca-Cola, the pure co diet, excuse me, diet Coca-Cola. I'd be drinking that right now if I wasn't such an alcoholic, but Mr. President, if I could just say that it is such an honor, and I, I know I'm going to be tough, it's been such an honor to talk to you, Mr. President, and you, you're the greatest, not even the greatest president, but probably the greatest thing to happen to this flat earth since, I can't, I don't even know, and I, I, a minute ago, I just pointed it up, I pointed up, and that, just make no mistake, that's at you, because the first time I seen you coming down that escalator ascending from heaven, I knew you were my my candidate and my president and my tangerine savior. And I think that's that's so beautiful to hear, Brent. You do our country proud. You do social media proud. I love that poster behind you. People don't realize that Thank that's you. actually my that is actually what my arms look like. So it's not a Photoshop, folks. Not a photo. That's the Dems. They use the Photoshop. We use, we call it no filter, right? We say no filter. No filter. This, the, the Washington compost would have you think this man is flabby, but this is what this man looks like. Absolutely. So Brent, I want to thank you on behalf of the nation. Continue doing your strong, tremendous and tough work. And please don't listen to the fake news or the Dems who want no, us sir. to fail. Thank so you very th much. I raised my emotional support beer to you. This is uh, the Zeke Heil of beverages right here. That's a beautiful thing. We love that. We love, you know, all, all the Heils, all the Heils. We, all Heils matter. So that's it, everybody. We thank Brent Terhune, one of our great patriots. And remember, the Trump, the Internet content, nobody's giving you this kind of content, these kind of, MAGA collaborations. We call them MAGA rations. And so be sure to subscribe. You know what they say? They say like click on the subscribe button. It's not a magazine though. There's nothing coming in your mailbox. You just got to subscribe very strongly with great strength and you'll get more great videos. So thank you, Brent. And uh, we'll see what thank happens. You, we will see what happens. Hey.